My name is R.E. Barnes. I'm with the Bahamas Human Rights Network. We're located in Nassau, Bahamas. I'm also a member of Amnesty International and have worked on the death penalty issue for about 25 years now. Uh, unfortunately, it still exists in the Bahamas. The Bahamas is one of the retentionist countries in the Caribbean region, even though technically we're in the Atlantic, we're part of the greater Caribbean. So um, we've worked on that, trying to uh, educate and enlighten people about why the death penalty doesn't work. And it's uh, sometimes an uphill struggle. Sometimes you find some support. But uh, overall, it's, it's, um, it's something that still meets a lot of uh, obstacles, particularly in the Bahamas, where people feel that it is a simple solution to crime. When you think of the Bahamas, you think about a country that's very well connected to the rest of the world in terms of tourism, uh, financial services, um, not exactly your typical retentionist country that may be isolated and uh, very um, like attached to traditions and uh, old rules. So why do you think, what are the factors uh, mm. that it can explain uh, that the death penalty is still there? Well, we're part of the Commonwealth, and so we inherited a lot of our laws and, and way of governance from the United Kingdom, Great Britain at the time. And that made a difference in how we approach things. It's also, um, I mean, if you think that, that it's not been all that long since the UK eliminated the death penalty, uh, in one sense we're, we're behind, but so is a lot of so are a lot of other countries really so um, and particularly within the Caribbean region there's been a great reluctance to move away from this traditional form of punishment the execution would be hanging we fortunately have not had a hanging in some time now principally because of our connection to the Commonwealth that our Supreme Court if you will is the Privy Council which sits in the UK they have made two major rulings which have modified uh, how executions occur in the Commonwealth countries, in particular in this case in the Bahamas. The Pratt and Morgan ruling said that no one could be on death row for over five years without being executed or it was cruel and unusual punishment. That stopped almost all of the executions we've had because the legal process becomes very slow. And the second thing is that our Old laws stated that the death penalty was mandatory in all capital offenses. The Privy Council ruled that that was not the way the law should be interpreted. And so over the past few years, there's been a modification of that. And the courts are being more lenient now in sentencing people to death. There is still one person on death row at this stage, but the sentence is still there and, and it has not been abolished. And so we're still working to move towards total abolition. Now, what would you like people outside the Caribbean to realize? And how would you like them to react uh, on this World Day uh, in a way that could help you make progress towards abolition? Well, outside pressure is constructive, if done in a positive way. I, I, I don't think anybody likes to be told what to do. <laughs> But I think if we if we have constructive solutions, uh, proposals from around the world, and just the general momentum of the world moving away from the death penalty as the ultimate solution, um, then that tends to mitigate the Bahamas and other countries towards moving away as well. So it, it's, it can be as simple as letters to, you know, say the Prime Minister of the Bahamas, to say we'd really love for you to move away from the death penalty as a solution, to, surpri to, to, to support uh, the Bahamas in moving that direction. It can, just little subtle pushes can sometimes help.